Hey all, it's me Preeti. Yes, still now I have made several uh, coding questions which are mainly based on arrays and uh, I've also made a videos of how to eliminate the duplicates uh, by sorting and uh, so on. But someone has asked me that you have eliminated the duplicates which are present in array by sorting an array. I have sorted an array in ascending order and I have told you when you sort an array, performing operations on a sorted array will be very easy and I have done on that way. But someone asked me, you are sorting an array and you, you are eliminating or duplicates could you please uh, maintain the array as it is that is unsorted manner and and can you eliminate the duplicates so this was the question which was asked by asked to me so this is the logic to eliminate the duplicates present in an unsorted array and i'll quickly get started and i'll teach you how to eliminate the duplicates in an unsorted array and uh, i'll also teach you the easiest ways to get the for loops using an ide so most of you will be anyways knowing how to use eclipse right so i'll be showing the effective way of using an eclipse in this program and so that you can implement a program very quickly uh, my agenda is not to drag a video for 10 minutes or 15 minutes uh, so if would, if I would have dragged then it is very important because I would have thought something very important while implementing uh, a logic or if the video is too long but my main thing is is to end the video as soon as possible and I'll make sure that you'll understand the logic with that period of time and so let me quickly get started and I'll make sure that you will understand everything whatever I do here right so I'll just take everything off everything this much okay so I, I'll even take off the main method except the initialization and declaration of an array so I'll copy and I'm gonna take this off so you know how to create a class right and I hope you know how to create a main method also so I'm to I'm showing you how to effectively use the Eclipse IDE with the implementation of the logic please type M A I N and press control and spacebar that is tab when you place control uh, wait uh, when you press control plus space you get so many options that is main main, uh, main so many so when you press on when you go on here you can see here that is public static void main and please give enter when you give enter the main method is built for you and i have anyways uh, copied uh, initialization and declaration of array so this is an initial uh, this is what uh, i have given as an input one two three four four five six seven seven and four the four is again declared at the last so i'm just uh, again checking the test cases whether it is able to eliminate the duplicates wherever it is present in an array that is what everybody wants right yeah now what i'm gonna do I'm going to pass this to a different method that is duplicate element. I'm going to pass this array as a parameter and please uh, when you get uh, when you get such a red line right it means that it is an error so please go uh, uh, hover your uh, cursor on those when you hover I mean when you just go do this you get such types right create a method duplicate element so please click on that you will get this one private static into duplicate and delete this line return null because the return type is array here that is why you have you should return an array type now since you have taken this as an input into this method now i am checking whether the duplicate is present or not so i'll iterate a loop for int i is equals to zero i less than a dot length sorry for int uh, i is equals to zero i less than a dot length and i plus plus so i want to give an integer of which of yes duplicate element now again i'm gonna iterate the loop of j is equals to i plus one yes i'm uh, i'm comparing the first zeroth index position with the next index position and it will be incrementing now i'm checking if a of i is equal to that is if first index position zeroth index position is equal to first index position or not right so if it is equal then please send this array element to this method that is delete an element 
delete an element i'm sending the array with the index position where there is a presence of duplicates so a is an array which is duplicate and j is an index position where the duplicate is present i'm sending that to this method so i'm creating an another method that is delete element and what you're returning at the end i'm returning an array now here i just want to give certain conditions that so j is an index position instead giving j i'll just make a clarity of it as an index position so i'll just check if index position is less than zero if it is less than zero or if index position is greater than array dot length then please do print that you will you will get into a array index out of bound situation array index out of bound out of bound exception okay and you'll get that and you should return back the array what you have finally when this situation doesn't occur then it will come to i'm creating a new array i'll tell you why int result is equals to new int which should have a length of this one so why am i taking array dot length minus one and, and uh, why am i creating a new variable it's because when you do uh, when you delete an element see uh, imagine you have seven elements when there is a presence of one duplicate i'm deleting that duplicate right so you will have only six elements stored in it so i don't want extra space uh, to be added into my resultant array that is the reason i'm just giving minus one i'm just eliminating uh, uh, in i mean i'm just uh, eliminating the waste memory space and i'm just storing only that where the unique elements are present and that unique elements will be stored in my resultant array right now i'm iterating this one with result dot length yes this is where the condition occurs now just see if your i is less than index if it is less than index then store your a of i into resultant of i into your resultant array okay else if your index position will become equal to i then at that position you will find the duplicates so you are supposed to eliminate that duplicate uh, that duplicate element so instead of adding that index position that duplicate uh, element index position you just uh, you just uh, avoid that index position value and add the next index position value that is result of i will never store the duplicate index position it stores next value of uh, duplicate element right now you're gonna result i mean return result here now when you return result here it will trigger back to your main method so your result will be stored here hmm? when it is stored here just iterate a loop and print a statement right say a of i and I'm just taking this ln so that you will get perfect reject. Yes, and run. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll just change this again to one. So this presence of one also a duplicate. Now let me see what I get. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So people, I hope you understood. This is what you asked for. That is how to eliminate the duplicates which are present in an array without sorting. That is how to eliminate the elements, that is duplicate elements present in an unsorted array. So uh, this is a very easy way to implement. I'm just uh, using different methods and I'm passing the parameters. 
so i hope you understood uh, so if you didn't understand please do let me know in the comments i'll come back uh, with an even more better approach so that uh, it, it will be understood for you if you don't understand please take pen paper do start debugging and uh, when you debug you surely understand fine so please do let me know if you didn't understand because that's very important for me that if you're getting it or not so thank you so much for watching if you love this or like this video please share with your friends and tell them how easy for you to learn this logic very simply and please do share subscribe and thanks for watching